Hi, I'm Bia Brook, and for my CS109 project, I built a model that predicts an NBA player's statistics using Bayesian inference and sequ sequential updating. So to do this, I focused on one person, and that's Jason, the anomaly Tatum. And I wanted to predict his points per game. So to do so, I, um, I like use lots of different factors. So first is his season points per game, which most people would just turn to. And then I wanted to add a couple more factors to build this bottle and update my probability. So the other parameters that I'm using are the team he's playing against, whether the Celtics are playing at home or away at that team's location, and his recent performance, so like his points per game over the last five games. So the problem I wanted to tackle is using more than just his points per game, which most people just use, how can we accurately predict how many points he will score in a game? To do that, we're going to use Bayesian inference, which the formula up here is for. Basically, I created a prior belief using his um, season stats, his season stats, so his season points per game. So I used the NBA stats API to get the list of all his games this season, got the points for each game, and then with that data set, I calculated the mean as his average and the standard deviation, which I used to create a normal distribution, which you can see here. So that's the prior. And then the factor that we have here is that he's playing against the Lakers at home. So knowing that, I also got um, all his stats at home. So same thing, I got through all his games at home and I got the mean and the standard uh, standard deviation to create this normal distribution. And then the second factor is he's playing versus the Lakers. So I got all his games against the Lakers from the last three years and created a normal distribution using that. And then the last factor that I wanted to um, also weigh in is how he's playing in his last five games. So I also got his last five games and I made a normal distribution using those stats. Now, knowing all that, how do we update the prior, which is his season stats, his season points per game? So to do that, I used a method called sequential Bayesian updating. And this to do this, I used something called precision, which is just the inverse variance. And Using the precision, this this is like a trick that you can use for normal distributions to update it in a much easier formula. As you can see here, you can find the mean and the standard deviation using the precision and um, the mean. And I have a proof of that, how it's derived from the inference formula in the paper, which I will link in the description. But basically, I use that precision as like a weighing factor for each, for each factor that I weighed. So if something was, for example, his stats at home were more uh, more precise than his stats at against the Lakers. So I would weigh that a bit more. So I kind of showed how I do that here. So I have my prior and I'll calculate the precision of my prior. And then I calculate the precision of this likelihood function. And using that, using the formula, I can find the values for the, for the posterior of that. So after I weighed in all the factors, I got this new distribution, which show his updated probability based on what my model thinks. So you can see at first, um, the uh, probability was the, like the season prior with a mean of 26.9 and standard, de and standard deviation of 7.9. But now after the updating, the posterior has a mean of 27.4. So based on the data, it believes that Tatum will do better than normal this season. and the standard deviation is lower, so even more precise value of that. So using um, the CDF of this new posterior distribution that I have, we can calculate the probability of him getting over a certain amount of points. So the T in this formula is like the amount of points, the like the line, so for example, 17.5. So you just plug that into the CDF and it, my model will return a probability. And one really big application of that is something called positive expected value calculating. So what this does is I got the um, I got all the odds for Tatum against the 76ers, his points um, from DraftKings using something called the odds API. And I compared my model's probability versus the implied uh, model of, or the implied market odds, which is from the sportsbooks model. And if I had a certain edge in something, then it would return that as something with expected value. So, 
the one line that I had an edge on was over 34.5 points. And um, Tatum ended up scoring 35 points that game. So it's nice that the model was able to, at least in the short term, outperform the um, sportsbooks models. And yeah, that was my project. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions.